Hello everybody out there on YouTube, this is 43 Eye, and today I'm here to the second part of my How Redstone Works series, and today we're going to be learning about, um, redstone, basic redstone gates. Um, now what a gate is, is basically kind of a, kind of, kind of, kind of like a redstone filter, that whenever the redstone goes through it, um, it will determine by whatever's going into it, if it should input a signal or not input a signal. Now I'm gonna go over three basic ones today. And that's gonna be the AND gate, the repeater, and the converter. Okay? Now, these are really easy to make and they're one of the most used ones in um, Minecraft. Now I'm doing this on my server as you can see someone just joined and I'm gonna tell them that I'm making a video. Okay, anyway, um, so basically I'm going to show you how to make an AND gate. Now, as you know from the last episode, um, AND gates, uh, I mean, as I said, as you know from the last episode, redstone torches will be deactivated if they have an input on the block that they're on. So, as you can see... If I do that, that one turns off. If I do that, that one turns off. Now I can use that to make a um, to make a, to make a gate, to make an AND gate. So if you put a redstone torch here and a redstone torch here, basically since this has activation on the block that this torch is on, it's going to stay off because these torches are activating it. But how do we get rid of that activation so this will turn on and put an input? Well, it's really simple. We just right click these levers, which will put an input to the block that these are on, which will turn them off. Which will in turn turn this piece of threadstone off. And since this block doesn't have any activation on it, this torch that it's on will turn on and put it out an output. Now, basically, it's basically just saying if two things are on this. Ha if two two things have to be on for this to be off. I mean, two things have to be on for this to be on. Or you could put a rip. Well, actually, we'll go over that later. So basic. This is gonna. This is useful for if you want to. Um, here, I'll, I'll demonstrate. It yeah, maybe in a more basic level. See if this one's on and this one is off. The door is closed. If this one's off and this one on, the door is closed. If they're both off, the door is closed. But if they're both on, the door opens. So that's basically that. Now we're going to show you the converter. Now basically, a converter is very self-explanatory. It just converts the signal from what it currently is to something different. To the opposite, actually. So, as you can see here, This is on and this is off. Flip the lever. This is on. This is off. Um. Now this is good if the if the ending up signal is not what you want. Like, you yeah. Say you have a giant machine, okay. And the last input to do the last thing is the wrong current. Then you just simply place it on a block and a redstone torch. And you make it the right current. Okay. Now, um, don't really have, don't really have any point in explaining that anymore because it's very simple. But let me show you the last gate we're going to be doing today. It's called the repeater. Sorry, it's the phone. It's called the repeater. The repeater is um. In the old days, we used to make repeaters like this. Okay? I mean, not in the old days. T t today, we make repeaters like that. Okay? And basically, just what a repeater does, it makes the signal go out further. Say you were building something and the current went for too long and it couldn't reach what you were wanting to activate. 
Because redstone can go for 15 blocks, I think. Is, that is. Okay, say it runs out and this door won't activate because not enough current. So that's what repeaters were for. for. You just place a repeater anywhere in the current and it'll repeat the signal. Just like that. Okay. But let me show you the old way we used to make a repeater. Which was a gate. It was basically this, 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 and this. That was your repeater. Because if you took off the torch, it would turn off the signal. So, say we have too long of a current, like last time. Like this. Down. Okay. Can't reach the repeater. It can't reach the door. So what we would do? We would put a block here, block here, redstone there, redstone torch here, redstone torch there. That repeats the signal, which in turn will open up a door. So yeah, there's one more thing I want to demonstrate with the AND gates, is if you put down torches, you can make it an OR gate. No, not an OR gate, you can make it a, uh, an opposite gate maybe? I don't know what you would call this, but basically you're saying one of them needs to be off and one of them needs to be on for the redstone torch to activate. So, so this one was off and this one was on. Resident torch wouldn't be activated. And if they're both on, redstone torch still won't be activated. But this one needs to be off and this one needs to be on because basically this is just turning the signal into something else to make it to where if it's on, it'll turn off. If it's off, it'll turn on the torch, not if it's on. So this one needs to be on and this one needs to be off. No. Actually, this one needs to be on. And this one needs to be off. Okay, and it'll make it activate. So anyway, guys, this has been the second episode explaining gates um, and showing off some basic gates in Minecraft. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching this second episode of How Redstone Works. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Later.